All right, what is up, YouTube? We're back with another video. So everyone's making Minecraft videos now, and I kind of want to hop on that bus, but I'm obviously not going to play Minecraft. Well, I could. Zol Minecraft Let's Play, coming soon, maybe. So right now, we are going to be making a beat using the Minecraft background music, which basically makes the game. C418 is just a brilliant composer. All the songs are amazing. Another quick disclaimer, I had this idea before Ramzoid made his Minecraft video. The video is insane. So yeah, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. So after watching that video, I realized I'm gonna have to add my own spice to this video. So, toiletries. So let's record some sounds. All right, so let's hop into Ableton and figure out how exactly I made this beat. All right, so here is our project. Here we have the wonderful sound that everyone knows. So after downloading that sound, I ended up changing the BPM to 120 and pitching the sample up four semitones. So it's up here. I'm just gonna delete this. So what I ended up doing next is splitting that song into three different parts depending on their EQ. So the blue around all these tracks is me freezing the track because I have so many different audio effects on every single track. Here we have the medium EQ range. Let's give this a listen. And then here we have the high EQ range. And then what I ended up doing for this low EQ range is I threw on halftime. So now let's go over to our toiletries and see what I ended up doing with each sound. All right, so here we have the deodorant hit. So originally it was pitched up to right about here. And I decided to make this into my kick. So I ended up pitching it down six semitones and then I decided to add some EQ8 and then I added another EQ to take out the sides and then I added a saturator to kind of give it a little bit more power and then I added a little bit of chorus and then I threw in another EQ to take out the sides again adding another saturator and finishing it all off with a limiter and now we have our kick which still sounds pretty unique with that reverb, so I ended up keeping that. And then here, I think this is when I clicked the deodorant in, so originally it sounded like this, and then I ended up pitching it up two semitones, kind of warping it a little bit, and then I threw on a saturator, and then some EQ, reverb, compression, and a limiter, and now we have our kick and snare. And then all of these sounds down here are kind of percussive hits, so I just added a bunch of audio effects, mainly to keep all of these things on the highs. All right, so after that, I bring in my low instrument. And with that low instrument, I want kind of gritty hi-hat. So I ended up throwing this little comb thing. So originally, the sound was something like this. And then I ended up pitching it down 28 semitones. And I focused on only one of the hits. And then I just added all these audio effects to kind of give it a little bit more character. And it's kind of going throughout your ears as the beat goes throughout. And then this little flosser thing is kind of cool. I used the flossers. And I ended up just throwing a bunch of audio effects on to give it a little bit more character, just like that comb. Let's actually bring that decay time up a little bit. So with the comb and the flossers, you get kind of a cool atmosphere. So with C418, you end up getting something like this. All right, so I might go and touch up this beat a little bit. I might come up with something super random, I don't know. Thank you for watching. I'm working on a lot of how to sound like videos because those videos are doing really well, so we're gonna keep those up. So go down in the comments and comment an artist that you want me to make a beat like. The last contest that I held, which was the Smiley Lo-Fi Sound Pack contest, was a blast. So I'll probably end up doing another contest soon because that was awesome. Um, yeah, subscribe. 
like, play some Minecraft. Peace out.